Hi, Ethan. Hi. You ready for some uh, late night blood bowl watching? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. We're uh, we're probably gonna gonna fall asleep. Uh, I reckon since it's almost after midnight. Almost. And and as you know, I need my beauty sleep. Yeah, yeah, you do. Um, I'm playing uh, Chronothorn. Chronothron. Um, and his Skaven team, which is uh, a bit lower rated than mine, but then again, it's a. Let's be honest, it's a better build. Yeah. Looking at their points and stuff, and where they've quit their skills, all on the gutter runners, all of them. Yep. Do you wanna. Should we go over the team before we do anything else? Uh, we'll see it as it comes up, but <laughs> but there's that there's three gutter runners. One has got sure hands, block, sidestep, and maybe more, but I'm not sure. Yeah. And then one with block and fend, which is good because you can't follow him up with frenzy yeah. and other stuff. And dauntless, so he actually might be able to take out a guy if he's lucky. Yeah, his his gutter runners are really nice to be honest and he's got a good thrower with extra movement and pause and short hands uh, which is nice I mean the uh, the gut run uh, not the gut runners but the scaven throwers come with pause and short hands which is really good yep. considering uh, scaven's got quick moving gut runners that have uh, agility 4 so they can pass the ball a whole bunch if they want to and Chronotron decided to res uh, to kick uh, the first half, which means I get a chance to punch the shit out of him. You actually lost which... the toss for once. Mm -hmm. Oh, damn. Yeah. And now we all get the ref. I haven't seen that in Silent like Bob Bowl. No, no, it's... Uh, I, I, I don't get it as often. Now I'm. Uh, some people might object to me to me uh, going uh, loading one of the sides, like going to the left here. But I I had plans since since we're we're running and passing chaos. I didn't really want a war of attrition. Um, I like to score, so my plan from the get go was to punch out the line, hope to hope to put some some hurt on someone, and then. Do pre perhaps a two-turn, three-turn touchdown, but we'll see what happens. It's, 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 it's a bit tricky. Yeah, normally a Skaven, you'd want to receive, I guess. Yeah. Rather than um, kick first, normally. Yeah, we we talked we talked a bit about it, and Chronotron was felt more like uh, he he likes to receive in the second half. Wait, which I get because I I too like that just to uh, to make sure that even if the the second half is actually to be honest I kind of like to receive in the other half I like to receive yeah but well <laughs> but um yeah if you're in control for the second half that means you can do damage control if you've lost the first yeah. half and yeah that's how I always look it yeah I on. Actually, now that I think about it, I probably and I like to receive in the first half because I like I like to lead going into the second half, and that's that's e easier if you if you actually receive in the first half. Then again, it kind of depends on what team you're playing. If I'm playing a Wood Elf team, I I expect them to score earlier than in like turn eight. Yeah. Uh, but yeah. So here again, my plan is to go to the left. And he's leaving it quite open. And I've got the strength advantage. And apparently, Set can pick up the ball. He's having a good day. Which, yeah, which is kind of alarming. Because that means I actually have, I can move the ball up. And now I'm not like... What, what, what do I need to do now? I don't know. So let's just foul that guy. Because no one's getting sent off. Might as well. Yeah, pretty much. Yeah, I wish there was like a little thing for the referee. Well, I can't see him on the pitch, so maybe that's what you're meant to pick yeah. up on. But he isn't there, because he's been got. But on Fumble, there's like a little tied-up referee picture. 
Yeah. But to be fair, there isn't uh, there isn't anything in the board game. Some one, I guess one could argue that not having an indicator is more uh, is more in the. Um... Ow! Damn. Why? Poor Mr. Fister. Why are you doing this to him? Yeah, he's got frenzy. Everyone likes him. He's a nice guy. He, he likes to hug. He, Not once, but yeah. twice. Yeah, he's gone. He's gone now. He's dead. Yeah. Forever. Yeah. Until the next For game. Yeah, I, I, I don't like this new development where one of my guys get badly hurt in like the first turn. And it's one of the guys that I actually like a lot and want to show off more. And people are actually good. It's never just... A shitty beast man. Yeah. Then again, we don't have any shitty beast men. Steve. Steve's pretty shitty. Ah, that's true. I uh I retract my previous statement. Steve's shit. <laughs> Steve is Steve it? is shit. Oh fuck him. Oh oh. He he's like Ragnar Berserkerganger, only he doesn't do cool stuff. Yeah, he doesn't have the heart. Yeah. Damn, do it. Kill this rat, please. I will. Yeah. Well. Yeah, uh. For him to break Yee. armor on a yeah. Chaos Warrior is pretty impressive. <laughs> and for you to not break war armor on any of these yeah. little Skaven men mm. is that's... also impressive in its own way. Yeah. Not having um, Hasselhoof one square further up is that's a rookie mistake, and I should have moved him up just to be able to like uh, always have a guy that can score. Yeah. Ha had I had him one further up, I probably would have. Uh, I probably would have tried to do a two-turn touchdown. But now I can't do that, so I'm um, I'm gonna I'm gonna cage instead. Adapting to the conditions of play. Yeah. And at this point I realized that, oh, uh, the Rat Ogre doesn't have block, so I'm going to take a chance. And... He worked out. Yeah, yeah get the hell out of Rat Ogre. Rat Ogres are like cows, but worse. Mm. Um... I think they make better roadblocks because the prehensile tail, they've got it already, yeah. but being able to blitz it, plus yeah. one strength again, is really good. Then again, it didn't stop Morticius de Flores, Flores from dodging away from him, so... <laughs> well, yeah, because he's good. Yeah, he's got agility 3. So I'm, I might as well warn everyone that's watching, uh, this is one of those games where I make a lot of my dodges. Yes! Yes, I love those games. That's every single one of them. <laughs> That's not true. The ones where I actually need to dodge, rather than just have it... Well, that would be kind of fun. I don't make any of them. Yeah, but that's not fun. <laughs> it's no fun when you're being all rational. <laughs> oh, dear. Yeah, um... It's always nice when someone else gets when when your opponent's big guy gets his nega trait. You're like, huh, that's what you get for having a big guy, and then you realize you yourself have a big guy. Yeah, and yours and is laying like, down. Yeah, you know, and you're like, it's gonna be even harder for me to 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 get that guy up on the up on the pitch again. Just gonna have to punch. You're just gonna have to blitz, stand up and blitz, <gasps> jump up. Cow, we jump up. Yeah. yeah, it's definitely not a waste uh, of a double on him. No, of course not. Then again, I can, I guess, I can just stand him up. Yeah. So he, my plan here is to try and punch Mr. Hadwick free, obviously, and then maybe, depending on what happens, have him run up and pass. But I'm thinking. At this point, I've only got I'm um, I'm one man down, yep. but I'm I'm still up strength-wise, and I'm I'm up, up armor-wise. So I might as well take a few rounds at this point to try and 
punch the shit out of the Skaven. Yep. And hope that works. Uh, besides, we got... I've got get the ref, so if for some reason I would have someone end up next to uh, a down Skaven, I might as well foul him. Yeah. And I can punch the thrower. Well, you can shove him away. <laughs> yeah. The, um, I'm just looking at the cow's tentacles because <coughs> we didn't get a chance last game. Yeah. And he's yeah. just got like a horrible thing. Yeah. Going on. Yeah. It's, <laughs> it's, if, for being a, a trait called tentacles. There aren't that many tentacles. There's one. Yeah, I wish it was like claw and like his whole hand became a horrible yeah. mess. But no, he's just yeah. got like a yeah a weird tail coming out of his back. Yeah, I mean, I I like tentacles, but it's not it's cool, but it's not super awesome on a big guy that frenzies. Uh, uh, since you want you want to have people next to you with tentacle, but if you frenzy and Say like you're standing next to three people and you frenzy, you're gonna leave a few of them behind unless you actually manage to knock the the other player down on the first hit. Yeah. Which is you want to do it, but you can't always do it. So it's not as effective as it could be on, say, a strength five chaos warrior. Yes. But then again I mean it's it's one of those skills that when they work it's really nice. Yeah. But currently, I mean, he's standing, he's standing next to a freaking rat ogre. He, yeah. And, he's not. Go he's and, not going anywhere. Well, he's he's gonna punch the line rat. Yeah. But but that also means he he doesn't he doesn't get to use his tentacle. Unless he only shoves the line yeah. rat, which is not what you want him to do. Nope. So once again, another round of punching the shit out of people. Uh, I mean, Chronotron just KO'd another one of my guys, mm -hmm. which means I'm down to nine. Yeah, it's a good start. Yeah, it's a good start. It's not too bad. It's still manageable, but it, it kind of sucks. So, my plan here is that I realize that if I, if I blitz with set uh, on his number one, which is Cat, which has block and mighty blow, and then have someone stand next to to the left of number three, which would be Bill. Then I can I can do a chain shove and get Mr. Hadwick out of any tackle zones, which is nice. Yeah. But then again, I'm not entirely sure what I'm gonna do afterwards. That but is how most of my blah, 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 plays go. <laughs> I'm just like, yeah, and yeah. then it works out, and I go, oh. Yeah. <laughs> but then again, I I, I actually do know that um, Hasselhoof is free. So all I have to do is... Um, no, he's not yeah, free. Yeah, he's not Never free. You're, you're lying. I'm lying. No, I'm not lying. I'm just, uh, I'm just fabricating the truth. Yeah. That's different. Damn, the timer is really ticking down. Yeah, uh, since I since I usually edit this, it took me a long as well to decide if I wanted to actually uh, if, if I wanted to do that chain push or not, trying to figure out how to actually do it. So this is what happens when you get a turnover. <laughs> I'm like, damn, damn. Ooh, ooh, ooh! Who should I punch? I've got wrestle. That's good. That's useful. Let's punch that guy. Ah, oh, let's reroll. And now you're out of time. But I managed to get wrestle. You managed to get see wrestle's good. Yeah. So it was okay that you didn't know what to do next because the game didn't let you do anything at all. <laughs> yeah, I w and I was re the the fact that it timed so well with Skull Poker shooting Wrestle and going down meant that I was like, but I had Wrestle! That's not a turnover! 
And then I realized, oh, yeah, uh, maybe I should think less. I don't think that's the issue. <laughs> well, I do. See, now that's not nice. Just punching gram Grumble Goat like that. I'm going to say... I think the the team's transformation into elves is going a little too well. They seem <laughs> to be lying down a lot. They are. I mean, at this point, you you start to notice that we don't have that many bashing skills. Yeah. Uh, but then again, all my Chaos Warriors have block. Yep. Which is good. They're all really but, good. Yeah, but only Mikey out of the Beastmen have them. But then again, it's one of those. It's one of those skills. I mean, especially in this LP, you you kind of uh, you want to show off more skills. Yeah, you want to show off everything. Yeah, but that's not how you build a proper Blood Bowl team because you need to focus on something, Prefer preferably something you enjoy doing and possibly that the team is good at. Yeah. So I mean, um, I. I do have when I'm not fucking up, which I do a lot. I'll I'll admit to that. But then I do have a decent passing game, and I do have a pretty decent push game. I can push people around pretty darn well. Uh, <clears throat> it's just that um, well, I'm not that used to chaos, to be honest. It's uh, it's one of those things. I mean um. I'm I'm used to playing the armor value seven teams. The, uh, that's the, uh, one. the last time I saw you play Chaos before this LP, it was the dummy match at the start of your last LP where I was undead and I killed all your unskilled beastmen. Yeah, that was the last was time fun. I saw it, you play Chaos, and you're like, "Yeah, I'm gonna LP it." Yeah, that was that was that was enjoyable. <laughs> Chaos. No. No, this is the furthest I've ever gotten with a Chaos team, and that's only because they are... They're tricky to get off the ground. I mean, it takes a while to to get skills on everyone. And, I mean, at this point, I do have skills on almost everyone except two, two of my players, which is really good. And if we, if we for, for once, don't think about Mr. Hadwick, it also means that... Um, no one is really an SP hog. Yeah. It's it's pretty it's pretty even. Yeah. Uh but I mean now that we got Hasselhoof, that's all gonna change. Yeah. He's gonna steal all of them yeah. instead. Yeah, he is. <laughs> but I mean it, it takes a while to get going and for once not to on my own accord, but I do have a I do have a chaos team with a lot of skills. It's just that it's not built as a chaos team. <laughs> Yeah, but don't worry. Well, with your type of positive attitude, yeah. I'm not sure my what could go My positive wrong. attitude and your dice rolling so we get to choose the general and strength skills. They're going to end up <laughs> KRC eventually. <laughs> no, I'm sure everyone's going to vote for Leap next. Oh, I mean, very long legs. No. No. So, yeah, this is... Th that's That that was a pretty elfy round. He knocked all my guys yeah, down. Yeah, every single one. Yeah. But then again, his um, his thrower knocked himself out. So, Hasselhoof is free. Is f he's finally free. And all I have to do is remove a rat ogre and number 10. That's a, a, a blocker. I, he, I mean, a blitzer. He's, yeah, he's a storm vermin. Ex ah, yes. He, he's actually vermin the shock. Yeah, that's what I was just looking at. Ver, vermin the shock. Oh my damn! Chocolate rat. Let's do it. <laughs> so yeah, um, uh, the the obvious option here is to blitz the rat ogre. The minotaur has horn. He's gonna get two dice, and once again, I can chain push the uh, the storm vermin away. And I'm not entirely sure why I want to put him there. So yeah. uh, I'm glad you, you figured it out. Yeah, it took me a while, there but I got there in the end. He's, he's he's a good cow. He's he's yeah. much better behaved than the last one. Yeah, the last one was kind of a dick. 
But then again, he had claw. He did have claw. Damn, this is... Oh. This is... Damn. Look at all this yeah. face. Yeah, and Hasselhoof is free, which is nice. Uh, but there is um, there is the issue of an agility for gutter runner between him and a pass. Yeah. <laughs> and then I realize, oh right, gutter runners only have two strength. Yeah, they're... I can probably punch the shit out of him. Yeah, they're weak little babies. Then again, he does have sidesteps. I'm like, uh, do I want to? Do I want to give him something more? And I realize that no, I don't. Yeah. And then for once. Wrestle pays off. Wrestle always pays off. Damn, you, See, you I, even I, pointed at it and everything. Yeah, I mean, I mean, I I didn't point at it for the for the video sake. I'm like, really? Do I have wrestle? And then I move my mouse cursor to make sure, and it says yes. It says it said wrestle. Wrestle's really good. Yeah, and I'm like, ah, oh. if I if I need to go for it once, so I get into the plus one. Then again, I, I might roll snake eyes. And at this point, I'm like, fuck! That's really bad! That's what happens when you try and pass with Hadwick. He's not used to being on this end of the equation. He he didn't fail the pass, he failed his freaking going for it. Yeah, because he was thinking about what he's going to have to do next. Which was lay on the floor and have a gutter on a stand up, pick up the ball, and then run really far away. <sighs> Not a fan. Yup. I love God of uh, Yeah, so do I. Except when I'm playing against them. God of are like skinks, but much, much Good. better. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and that uh, that cut runner, by the way, has dodge, block, shore hands, and sidestep. Yeah, he's going to be rough to take out, but you can do it, I believe in you. Pretty much the best guy to take him out is Skullpoker Johnson. Yeah. But he's he's having a bit, he's not having a bit of a nap, but he's having a bit of a lay down. Uh, yeah, and I don't think he yeah. can make it, he's not fast enough. No, he's not. It'd be nice if you had someone with frenzy so you could hit him twice. That would be nice. Unfortunately, my cow is busy standing next to a rat ogre. Tying him up with all those tentacles. Oh. Damn. Is that all you're going to say? Um, I'm trying to think of what to say other than... Are, are you trying to wordify your thoughts? Yeah, and the words I'm getting are... Damn, playing Chaos with this Chaos team is... Against the rules, apparently, Jesus. <laughs> You're like, yeah, I'm gonna cage, and then the entire team disappears. To be fair, it wasn't the best cage, but then again, uh, 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 something, something that uh, makes it not as bad. It's it's a chaos cage versus yeah. Skaven, made <laughs> up of like three chaos warriors. Yes, a KO. Damn, uh, finally. Yeah. I did something. He, he he's gonna wake me. up next turn, like next drive. Yeah, look at look out to the right, and you can see that I've got two guys in the casualty box and two guys in the KO box. Yeah, but I managed to get Mr. Hadwick next to the uh, freaking uh, gutter, runner. gutter runner. Good, good. It's okay, he can escape just fine. Yeah, I know. he's not gonna have any problems. That guy is though. Yeah. Nah. Yeah. He's fine. Well, hey, you're tying up two guys with tentacles now. Yeah. So. Good in it. That's that's better all than I nothing. Yeah. All I have to do now is punch that guy. Damn. I told you I'm good at dodging. Perfect. Where's he going? Where's he going? I bet it's somewhere really irritating. The worst part about this is. Like, you, you don't. When using sidestep. You don't, um, you don't I, know where to follow to, up or not. Yeah. You don't know where Luckily, he's going. I, I knocked him out. Otherwise, I wouldn't be able to get to the ball. Yeah. But now I can, if I manage to 
She do. Still better than just knocking him down. I agree with the but, cow because yeah. he did a snort of distress just then. Hey, Dio isn't supposed to handle the ball. Yeah. He's not a ball carrier. He doesn't like holding on to balls. But it's okay because Hasselhoof is still chilling out next to the thrower. Yeah. I mean, th that right there is pretty. <laughs> Do you want to explain Dauntless? Um, if you attack someone with a higher strength than you, you can roll a dice, and if you roll enough, I think it's the di like the difference in strengths oh, or something. That, I don't even know. That, but then that means I need to roll uh, look in the rules book yeah. so we get it right. But then you end up being equal to their strength, so it's yeah. really good for troll slayers, and it because they can take out yeah. big guys, and it's really good. For strength, two guys. Yeah. So, so, so you went from trying to explain Dauntless to to explain it really quickly, and then throw throw out Troll Slayer. Yeah. That that's newbie friendly, Ethan. Yeah. Troll Good Slayers slay you. trolls. They need to hit things that are bigger than them and stronger. <laughs> Anyways, what what it actually does is skill wise is that you you can only use Dauntless on players that are stronger than you, and it. It, it takes effect when you try and block them. What you do is you roll one d6 die, which is the only die, um, and add and add the strength. And if the um, if the total is equal or lower to your opponent's strength, the player must block using his normal strength. But if it's higher, then the two players have the same strength. So while the <clears throat> the gut runner uh, rolled against my. He rolled a d6, added his strength, which is 2, so he had to roll uh, 3 plus to get over the Chaos Warriors for strength to, to, be, to have this be counted as the same strength. It's a pretty awesome skill. If you want to take down bigger guys. Yeah. Ow! Stop following my freaking Minotaur! That's really me. That was not. It, to be fair, he actually he actually asked me before if I was if I was okay with it, uh, and my response was, "Well, I I I don't want you to follow my minotaur because that's not nice, but I can't really blame you because I would do the same." Sca ah, Skaven. Ugly. Ugly. Skaven. Ugly. Damn! It worked perfectly. Yeah, my plan really came together in the first No, half. not yours, his. Oh! Yeah, I guess that's true. It's okay, you're yeah. only down one. Down to nine. Yeah. And he's, um... I bet it's the gutter owner, isn't it? Yep. Of course it is. Ugh. 